Hey everyone, welcome to Pageant Professors. We're talking with Miss Black Indiana USA 2012, Lindsay Taylor. Lindsay, you are getting ready for your red dress shoe. Tell us a little bit about what you're wearing. Okay. I am originally a ballerina growing up, and so I wanted to pick something that kind of was red, but it still fit my personality. So I love the drop waist and the poofiness of it. About it, it reminds me of a tutu, so that's kind of how I picked the dress. <laughs> So I'm assuming you're going to be dancing for your talent this year. Is that a safe assumption? Keep it a surprise, kind of. Um, doing a combination of talents, but it's going to be kind of like a skit. So it's kind of a surprise. But yes, that will be one of the things in it. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about how you got involved in pageantry. Okay. I uh, started at Purdue University. Uh, Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity had a Miss Black and Gold pageant, yes. And I was a little hesitant at first because growing up I've never actually done pageants. I've done like piano performances and different dance performances, but pageants were new for me. So I decided to go ahead and try that one out. and ended up winning that one and going to the sectional one. So I saw this one. Uh, the former Miss Black Indiana went to Purdue, so she was telling me, you know, you should go and try out for this. So that's how I kind of got started. Excellent. So um, what are you studying at Purdue? I am in mechanical engineering. Smarty pants, I think. Is that what translates uh, into? Yeah. <laughs> you can say that. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about more about how you're preparing for nationals. Okay. Well... It's very busy um, at a lot of different organizations on campus, so trying to juggle my time has been rough. But one of the things that I did was take advantage of my Christmas break. I spent, you know, a week to two weeks straight, you know, just preparing for the talent, or not just the talent, but the whole pageant. And so when I got back to school, it wasn't so hectic. You know, I had already did a lot of preparing, so definitely. So what do you think is going to be one of the biggest challenges in preparing for, or, you know, if you become Miss Black USA 2012, what do you think is the biggest challenge that you're going to face? Uh, maybe time management or anything else? I would definitely say time management. I mean, that's not even a problem after you become Miss Black USA. That's a problem just every day with everybody. So <laughs> definitely time management would be the biggest. So. So if there was one uh, piece of advice that you could give to a young girl that is maybe a first-time competitor or hasn't competed before, what would you say to her? Okay. I have perfect words for her, just to keep her head up. Because I know when I first did Miss Black and Gold, I was so nervous. When we first did, like, practice and questioning and answers, they asked me, you know, if you had a three-piece inch of string what would you do with it and I froze I was like you know I don't know what to say and so definitely I would tell a girl you know keep your head up it's gonna be rough at first and I like it because it kind of brings you out of your box so it'd be a growing experience for them so so you know that was a really unique uh, pageant question how do you keep your cool when you get something you know out of left field like that well that first time I didn't keep my cool <laughs> It showed, yes, okay. it definitely showed on my face. I, I don't know, I kind of have like a one second breathe in moment and then I try to just not let it show on my face right. and then just go from there. So, even though in my mind sometimes I'm kind of like, what? Right. what kind of question is that? <laughs> so, thank you. Well, I love what you're wearing today. What can we expect for your wardrobe for Miss Black USA? Or is that top secret? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I tend to like different stuff, yeah. um, antique and lots of feathers and colors. So we'll see. Excellent. Well, mm -hmm. we're looking forward to it. Absolutely. Um, so thank you so much for speaking with us again. That was Miss Black, Indiana, USA. Did you know that there are some really common mistakes that girls make during the evening gown portion of their competition? Click on the link in the description below and you'll be taken to our website for a free 30 minute long training course. By the end of it, you'll learn how to avoid these common mistakes and master the evening gown portion of your competition today.